great group of people out here this morning, and uh, we're so happy to see, especially the kids, too. Amen. Our hearts for families and kids. Uh, and uh, we just want to tell you that how much uh, Jesus loves you, how much He cares about you, and uh, we got plenty of goodies for you guys. We got some backpacks that are all filled with school supplies and stuff like that, and. Uh, we got some hot dogs and hamburgers, so stay around, amen? Stay around so you guys can eat and stuff like that, get your backpacks. And uh, after we're done, I want to kind of share a quick word with you on God's salvation, and then it'll take about 10 minutes, and then we're going to, uh, Manny, where you at, Manny? Right there. You're going to follow Manny, you're going to get in line, and we're going to take you so we can get your backpacks, and then from there, we're going to, then we'll start keeping you okay? Are we okay with that? Yeah. Go ahead, Sam. Hola a todos, estamos muy contentos de que estén aquí, este, um, estamos muy felices porque vamos a poder regalar mochilas y darles un, una, tenemos hot dogs, hamburguesas, para que se queden durante todo el proceso, uh, nomás ahorita queremos uh, compartir con ustedes uno, unos minutitos rápidamente uh, de nuestra iglesia. All right, praise God. Uh, I want to read you something, okay? And uh, I want to read you something on God's plan of salvation. And maybe some of you here today, I have never heard this, this message. Queremos leerles algo de sobre la salvación y de Cristo. Y quizás ustedes, muchos de ustedes nunca han oído esta palabra el día que vamos a hablar de hoy. So pongan atención para que um, aprendan algo bonito el día de hoy. It's called God's plan of salvation. Se llama el uh, plan de salvación. Everything was perfect according to Genesis 1:1. Todo era perfecto en Genesis 1:1. La Biblia lo dice. God created us because He wanted to have a special relationship with us. He created us uh, uh, this beautiful world, so air to breathe, food to eat, water to drink. So we take never take these things for granted that we have. Everything was perfect, and God wanted it to stay that way. Todo, uh, Dios creó to, a todo el mundo y lo creó muy bonito y creó a los, uh, para hacernos, para tener una relación muy bonita con Él. Él creó uh, el aire que respiramos, la comida, el agua que tomamos. Dice, um, todo era perfecto y Él quería que todo se quedara así. So what happened? Romans 5.12 happened. Entonces, ¿qué pasó? Y en Romanos 5.12 la Biblia dice... This is every... Even though God wanted the first man and woman uh, that sin would cause death, they they still sinned. Sin not only separated them from God, it passed down to every human being and to every, everyone who continued to sin. All the problems that we face today, including sicknesses, poverty, fear, depression, brokenness, pain, and death came from a result of sin. Aunque Dios, no, aunque Dios le, nos dijo que no pecáramos, dice, uh, en el principio la mujer pecó, dice, y el pecado nos ha traído uh, enfermedad, problemas, tristeza, y todo eso fue a causa del pecado. Why do people keep on sinning? 1 John 5.19. ¿Por qué la gente continúa pecando en 1 Juan 5.19? There's a wicked spirit named Satan who is called the devil since the first man and woman he has been deceiving human beings and influencing them to sin. He knows that through sin, he can control them and cause them to do more damage in their lives. En el um, en primero de Juan 5, 19, nos, Dios nos habla de que hay un, una, nos habla sobre Satanás, que es el diablo. Y él quiere destruirnos de todo tipo de forma. Porque él sabe que del pecado es la única forma que nos puede controlar. What will God do to Satan for deceiving us? Revelation 20, verse 10. ¿Qué hará uh, Dios con, con Satán en, en Apocalipsis 20, 10? Because God loved us so much, he promised to judge the devil and cast him into the lake of fire. The lake of fire was created to be a place of punishment and torment forever. Porque Dios nos amó mucho, Él uh, va, va a llevar al diablo a la, al fuego, al infierno. Dice, porque Dios nos amó mucho, Él va a permanecer que el diablo se quede ahí en, en el infierno. What will happen to the people who are deceived by Him? According to Revelations 20, 14 and 15. ¿Qué pasará con la gente que no recibe a Jesús en Apocalipsis 20? The lake of fire 
for human beings is called the second death. After we, you die physically, you'll spend eternity in one place, or in heaven with God, or hell in the lake of fire. When, when sin separated us from God, hell became the destiny of every human being. Cuando uno muere de aquí, de esta tierra, um, tenemos dos opciones, nos iremos al cielo con Jesús o nos iremos al infierno donde, está, donde vive Satanás. Why did God do and why? John 3.16. ¿Por, ¿Por qué lo hizo Dios y por quién? En Juan 3.16. God loves you. God has a plan for you. Because God loved us so much, He didn't want anyone to go to hell. He sent His only Son, Jesus, to save us. Jesus loved us so much that He was willing, He willingly came and died to pay for all our sins, past, present, and future. Now, if anyone puts their trust in Jesus, Jesus, and does what He has done for them, they no longer have to pay for their sins or be punished. Que Dios amó tanto al mundo que mandó a su hijo Jesús y Jesús vino al mundo a morir por nuestros pecados para que él quiso pagar por nuestros pecados. Si tú le entregas tu corazón a, a Dios y si le entregas todo de ti, a Jesús te perdona y él y ya no tienes que uh, tienes acceso ahora al cielo. Salvation is free. Ephesians 2, 8, 9. La salvación es gratis en Efesios 2. The backpacks are free. Las mochilas son gratis. The food is free. La comida es gratis. Salvation, what Jesus did for you, is free. Lo que Jesús hizo por ti es gratis. All you have to do is receive him. Lo único que tú tienes que hacer es recibirlo. Jesus did it all for you. Jesús lo hizo todo por ti. All you have to do is receive. Lo único que tú tienes que hacer es recibir. No one can do it for you. Nadie lo puede hacer por ti. We all have a choice. Todos tenemos opciones. What direction will go in life? God gave you a free will choice. He said, whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Salvation is free. Jesus, but because Jesus died to pay for our sins, salvation is completely free. There is nothing we can do to earn salvation or forgiveness from God. In fact, Romans 4, 4 and 5 says that if anyone tries to earn their salvation by being good enough, to, he will still owe his debt of sin. So if anyone says, I think I'm, I will go to heaven because I'm a pretty good person, they are trusting in their own works instead of trusting what Jesus did at the cross when he was crucified. Salvation is only available by God's grace through faith, and we simply believe and receive. Porque Jesús murió en la cruz por nuestros pecados, la salvación ahora es completamente gratis. Este, en Romanos 4 dice que el, la persona se quiere salvar por sí mismo, se quiere salvar por sí mismo porque hace, buenos, hace buenas cosas, porque es buena gente, porque le gusta convertir. Pero la Biblia nos enseña que la salvación solamente se gana por recibir, por recibir y por fe, por medio de fe y recibir. How do I receive salvation? Romans 10, 9. ¿Cómo recibo la salvación en Romanos 10, 9? When you hear the good news, like you're hearing right now, it's good news. It's not bad news. It's good news. When you hear the good news about Jesus, it brings faith to your heart. Can anybody feel faith stirring in their heart today? Out there? Amen. It says, when we begin to believe that God really does love us, and you really need to believe it, that God really does love you, regardless of what you or I or anybody here goes through, God loves you no matter what. And that Jesus came to save us, that if we act on our faith by confessing Jesus as Lord, we are saved. By declaring Jesus our Savior and Lord, we are choosing to turn away from our old life of sin, okay, and to follow Him. And that's what God wants to do today. He wants you to receive Him into your heart, and then what do I do right after I receive salvation? I want to follow Him. I want to follow Him. 25 years ago, I received Jesus Christ as my personal Savior. 
Things were not good in my life. Things were terrible in my marriage. Things were terrible in my family. And, and it seemed like that, that I was losing all hope. But one day, I called upon the name of Jesus and he saved me and turned me from my old ways. What did I do immediately after I got saved? Well, I was feeling so good in my heart that what God had did for me, I said, what could I do? What could I do for him now that he's done so much for me? Well, I'll tell you what I did. I started to follow him. I started going after him. I started going to a local church. I find the church. And, and, and as he came into my heart, I found a good, solid church. I started helping in the church. The pastor said, what, what can I do? I told him. I said, I would like to do whatever you want me to do in the church. And that was, well, can you clean the restrooms? I started cleaning the restrooms. I did whatever I had to do. Amen. I knew that I couldn't earn my salvation. I couldn't be good enough to earn it. I just wanted to give back to what God has done for me. Does anybody understand that? Yeah. Yeah. ¿Cómo recibimos la salvación? Por oyendo las buenas noticias. Y las buenas noticias como ahorita que estamos avisándole a ustedes, esas son las buenas noticias. Este, la fe viene por el oír este, en nuestros corazones. Uh, Dios dice en la palabra que si confesáramos con nuestra boca que Jesús es el Salvador, Él, él nos, nos, nos borra de nuestros pecados completamente y nos da esa oportunidad de poder llegar al cielo. Este, él estaba dando su testimonio de cómo hace 25 años su vida estaba destruida, su matrimonio estaba destruido, pero alguien una, una vez le habló de Cristo y él entregó su vida a Cristo y desde ahí en adelante su vida cambió uh, para bien, su matrimonio se restauró, uh, el, su trabajo. Él dice que después lo, que, lo bueno que puedes hacer cuando entregas a Jesús en tu corazón es ir a una iglesia donde tú te puedes entregar, a una iglesia donde tú puedes ser útil, puedes uh, ver con tu pastor y dile en qué puedo ayudar, en qué puedo, qué puedo servir. Este, ya sabemos que la salvación es gratis, solamente tienes que tener fe y creer en Dios. So what do I do now? What do I do now? I want to make a call to anybody out there who wants to receive Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. Maybe you knew the Lord. Maybe you once went to church and maybe something discouraged you and you no longer talk to God anymore. You no longer follow Jesus anymore. Or maybe this might be the first time that you say, hey, Pastor, I want to receive Jesus Christ as my personal Savior. Does anybody out there want to receive, after I've read to you the plan of salvation that God had for your life, and you can understand that, how many of you would say, you know what, if a God would send His only begotten Son down into this earth to die for my sins, that's things that I did in my life, and God would send His only Son, and His only begotten Son, to pay the penalty for my sins. That's a loving God. Wouldn't you say that? Wouldn't you say that's a loving God? Amen. Now I want to pray with you real quick. I want you to raise your hand. You can sit there. You don't have to get up. I want you to raise your hand if you want Jesus Christ to come into your heart right now. Raise your hand. You want Jesus to come into your heart. Queremos orar por ustedes. Si alguien quiere aceptar a Jesús y quiere que Jesús entre a su corazón, solamente levanta tu mano porque queremos orar por ustedes. I want everybody to repeat after me. Repitan después de... Say, dear Jesus, dear Jesus, come into my heart. Save me. Change me. I want to follow you. Write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. I repent of all my sins. I ask you to forgive me. I ask you to wash me and cleanse me of all unrighteousness. I thank you right now. I will trust you, Jesus. I will follow you, Jesus. I will listen to you when you call me, Jesus. Come into my heart and fill me with the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let's give them a round of applause. Amen. I want to congratulate you today because... Once we confess Jesus Christ as our personal Savior, your names are written in the book of life. 
That's what the Bible says. He writes every, he sees every single person here and he sees your heart. He sees it. And he sees your heart and he's writing your name down. So you may not see it, but that's what the Bible says. And that's why we believe by faith. Amen? And he's writing your name down right there. He's writing your name in the book of life. Amen? Praise God. Can somebody say praise God? Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. How many are ready to get some backpacks? Yeah. How many are ready to eat? I'm ready. All right.